When you need to extend a surface by a specified distance or to a specific plane, the Extend tool is the way to do it. If we look at the Extend tool with nothing selected in the graphics area, however, we can see that it's grayed out and can't be selected. That's because we must pre-select the edge of the surface that will be extended before starting the tool. So press the Alt key and then select an edge of the quilt. Then go back up and start the Extend tool. As you can see, an Extend feature will both remove and add surface geometry to your model. In the Options tab, we can see that the surface was extended using the same method. This method extends the surface using the same surface type as the original and doesn't create an additional surface patch. If we select a different edge of the quilt and start the Extend tool again, we can open the Options tab and select Tangent from the Method drop-down list. This method extends the surface as a ruled surface, tangent to the original surface. This method does create an additional surface patch. Select another edge of the quilt, start the Extend tool again, and this time we'll open the Options tab and select Approximate from the Method drop-down list. The approximate method creates an extension as a boundary blend between the boundary edges of the original surface and the edges of the extension. As you can see, this method also creates an additional surface patch. Okay, for the last example, we'll select the edge at the front of the quilt, start the Extend tool, and head over to the dashboard to select the Extend Surface to Plane option, and then select Datum Top. The surface is then extended down to the datum plane top. Even if your surface is complex, you can see that the Extend tool is a powerful and flexible tool that can be used to extend its edges in multiple ways.